Hi class, today we'll be taking a look at Microsoft Word. I will be your presenter. My name is Ms. Malika Anderson. The objectives for today's lesson is firstly, we want to be able to differentiate between word processing and word processor. Next, we want to label the Microsoft Word interface. Third, we want to state the functions of items on the Microsoft Word interface. And lastly, we want to identify the tool groups on the Home tab. Let's look at our first topic, the difference between word processing and word processor. If we look at the definitions that we have here, word processing is defined as the preparation of documents such as letters, reports, memos, books, or any type of correspondence. Notice that this is the action where you're preparing your document. However, when we look at Microsoft Word Processor, this is an application package or program, and we can even see a software that allows you to copy, move text, find and replace specific words and phrases, delete, edit, and format documents, print and save these documents for use at a later time. The important words that you want to keep in mind when looking at word processing is that it is the preparation or you can even say the action of making your document. Whereas word processor is application package or software that you use to create your document. So if we compare them, word processing is the action, whereas word processor is a software. Now your word processor allows you to perform word processing. For our lessons, the word processor that we'll be using is Microsoft Word. All right, here we have an interface, which is what you would see whenever you open Microsoft Word. We want to take a look at the different tools that are available whenever you open Microsoft Office Word. One such tool is the title bar. Here, this tool displays the name of the document. When you open Word, the document will always be called Document 1. However, you can later change the name of your document. Next, we have the Quick Access Toolbar, and like the name says, it gives you quick access to tools that you'll be using frequently. It has commands such as New, Open, etc., and you can always change the tools that are available in this list. Next, we have the File menu, which gives you functions such as Open, Save, Close. Now, in previous versions of Microsoft Word, you would have seen the Office button instead of the File menu. Next, you have your view icons, which are minimize, maximize, and close. And this tool allows you to either enlarge, hide, or shrink your window. Your ribbon, as we see here, is the entire section that displays commonly used commands in the form of tabs. For instance, you have the Home tab, you have the Insert tab, the Design tab, etc. Here we have the zoom slider, and this tool allows you to change the magnification level of your document. Simply put, you can either see your document larger if you were to increase the magnification, or your document would appear smaller if you were to decrease the magnification. Next, you have the view options. Now here, you can change view in Windows to more easily see and work with your document. Next, you have the status bar, which shows important information. Information includes the page number and your word count. In the lower left-hand corner, you will see the word count. And Word automatically counts the number of pages and words in your document. Your page information displays information about what page you're currently on. For example, we see here we're on page one of one page in the document. Here we have the tab selector, and whenever you hover your mouse over the tab selector, you're going to see the name of the active tab. For example, we see an L which connotates that or denotes that we are in the left tab. The left align the text at the tab. Stop. Here we have the insertion point. Now in some document, you would see this label as your cursor. This is the blinking vertical line in your document and it indicates where you can enter text on your page. Now in Microsoft Word, you would have both a horizontal and a vertical ruler. 
keeping in mind that your horizontal ruler runs left to right, whereas your vertical ruler runs top to bottom. Now this allows you to line up images or text on your document. You would see your vertical scroll bar on the right side of your document and this allows you to move up or down in your document. Now you also have what is called the horizontal scroll bar. However, you will only see your horizontal scroll bar if you were to increase the magnification of your document. Lastly, we want to take a look at the different tool groups on the Home tab. Now we said earlier that we have your ribbon and on the ribbon you have different tabs. For instance, you have the Home tab, the Insert tab, Design tab. Now your first tab is the Home tab and on that tab you're going to see the Clipboard group, Font tool group, Paragraph, Styles and Editing. Now notice that they're grouped according to functions that they perform. For example, if you look at the Font group, you're going to see different tools that allow you to change the different font styles that appear in your document. The same would be true for your paragraph tool group. Whenever you go into this tool group, you're going to see tools that allow you to change the different alignments within your paragraph. So what did we learn today? We learned first of all the difference between word processing and word processor. We said that word processing is the action, whereas word processor is the application program. We were able to label the Microsoft interface and we also stated the functions of the items on the interface. Lastly, we looked at the tool groups that existed on your home tab. Now that's it for this lesson on Microsoft Word. As a reminder, ensure that you complete the assessment that is on Google Classroom found in the uploaded lesson plan for this week. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week.